Hey everyone, welcome back. Uh, I have to crawl up back to Black Mountain because All right, Tap is still here. Anyways, guys, I sold off all my stuff. Now my inventory is back down low again. Here are the guns I'm using. I feel like I sold the gun I wasn't supposed to sell, but hey, that's life. Bought some ammo for all my guns. Or pulled some out of the chest also. Cleared out my inventory. Now I got 20. I think I went from like 14,000 to like 26,000 gold. So, I mean, caps. That's pretty cool. And um, I'm dehydrated and I'm poisoned. That's nice. The reason why I came back up on top of Black Mountain, I left some guy over here. Hey, Neil. Good work, human. Maybe now this place can rest in peace. Can I get something? What will you do now? Or what will happen to this place? Who knows? It might stay abandoned, get used as a base for raiders, or even become another colony for mutants. The future is not written, human. And it is foolish to squint at what cannot be seen. What will you do now? I still have a job to do here. Some mutants may have heard Tabitha's broadcasts and are headed here even as we speak. I'll remain and direct anyone who show up toward Jacobstown, where they'll be much better off. Oh yeah, I forgot about that place. That's another place for mutants. Yo, that's where you'll find all the nice mutants at. We'll beat you up. Probably Tabitha's going there. We'll see her there. I don't know. For a second, I thought there was a super mutant hanging off of that. And I came back up here because we left a potential follower in this back room, which we can grab at any moment. I don't know if there's a mission connected to him, but... Really can't get to him, can I? I don't even know what I grabbed off that, but I got a password. Uh, these supermans, they're funny. There's some dude you can talk to. Again, I guess that's just a little poop bucket. Hello, Raul. Bagul. Took you long enough, so can I go now? Uh, what do you mean, took me long enough? Sorry. I assume the only reason you'd fight past a horde of super mutants and pick the lock on my cell is if you heard my cry for help on the radio. But maybe you're just sightseeing. So since the door's open and all, can I go now? Who are you? Name's Raul. Raul Alfonso Tejada. I actually had a friend with the last name Tejada. Why does your job say says Miguel? Probably because it used to be Miguel's. Whoever he was. How about if you let me go, huh, boss? Is the mechanic around here? <sighs> no. No, boss. I'm a prisoner of the crazy super mutant with the wig and the glasses. I was kind of hoping you were here to set me free. But maybe I'm not a pretty enough damsel for that. Mm -hmm. Huh? Can you repair some of my stuff? Sure, boss. I'd be happy to prolong my captivity and psychological abuse to tighten some lug nuts for you. Oh, that's cool. Oh, he can do that for a frizzle. Uh, fuck no, that's too expensive. Back again? Uh, who are you? You forget about me or my name is Raul Alfonso. Okay. Enjoy your freedom. Alrighty then. I'll just head out alone by myself. Into the dangerous waste. Actually, you tag along with me. Sorry, boss, but as much as I like to risk getting killed by your side, you seem to already have some help. Tell me about yourself. Sure, boss. Who are you? Name's Raul. All right. Come on, Raul. Where are you from? I was born just outside Mexico City. My family had a little ranch there. I'm How old are you? Old enough to know better, boss. Old enough to know better. Tell me something else about yourself. What's Petro Chico? You never heard of Petro Chico? 
Un amigo de Poseidon Energy? Uh, of course not. They were an oil company in Mexico back before the war. Suit's pretty fresh for being uh, I'm an open book, boss. Granted, years old. Books in Spanish and some of the pages have fallen out, but I'm an open book. I just up on Black Man. Well, boss, when a giant insane super mutant asks you to stay put, you do what you're told. Well, maybe you don't. But I'm just a broke down old man. I had a tap to find you in this place. Eh, it's stupid, boss. I used to listen to the radio broadcast. Just to pass the time. Well, one day the signal stopped. So I figured I'd try to find a transmitter. I'm a pretty good repairman. Or I was before my eyes started to go. Anyway, I found Black Mountain and offered my services. But Tabitha decided I was useful enough to keep around. Permanently. Alright, we'll talk more later. Anything you should... You gonna get up and leave? Oh, it's... I go on. Yes, he just shows on Black Bond. Well, we can come back and get him anytime we want to. What I need to do is get in that gulch. Hopefully, I do not run into the butt cheek again. I'm not trying to die. Off rip. Trying to make sure this stupid thing is not gonna chase me from now again. I'm just a little scared of fighting, uh, you know, a death claw. Especially a hungry one that's gonna beat my ass. Probably gonna have to fight it regardless at some point. But I prefer to hold off on it. Actually, we can give it the, uh,. The one more try. If I see it, I'll just light it up. Like a Christmas tree. I thought that tree was a super mutant. Where is it? What's your name? I'll catch up somehow. You don't see me. Hope this actually hurts you. I don't think you see me, but I think it has a chance to, you know, finish you off. I hope this is doing some sort of damage towards you, because, uh... I think a lot of shells for no reason. Alright, I just wasted like 20 rounds on you. Hope that means something. My feet are crossed. My feet are gonna go numb. I'm thirsty. That means I can just drink from food like that. Or let me eat all the fruits I can. Alright, that should help me for however short amount of time. Now, as we go past this gate, there should be some uh, beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. I mean, ED should come back to me, I believe, right? On his own accord. Should be some centaurs past his gate. Not the ones from Mythic Mystery, but... Some other ones.
Need rad X now. And I'm dumb. Wrong one. It's whatever. Where are they? I just see one. Trouble. Mo. Okay, that's Mo's the the one that Tabitha talks about. If you can actually listen to the radio. They don't hit me, Mo. No, we're friends. Actually, Mo, you're kind of easy to kill. It's whatever. She can beat you. You're like. That's a Mo. A Moathia. Damn, there's a suit down there. Come on, come on. We gotta go, go, go before I die. Where's the other Brotherhood member? Mo isn't the only one over here. I'm 90% sure. Pretty sure there's like a couple more centaurs. And if he is. Oh, I. Fuck, I took rebound. <laughs> oh, that's the wrong one I took. Really? I could have swore there were more centaurs. And not just Mo. Well, whatever. Now we gotta go to the other one. I'm not gonna dismiss the elder. I like him. He's nice. He's nice to me. I'm thirsty. You no, know, I got a lot of money. Let me go to the uh, the Nevada clinic for a second. Uh, which way am I going? Right way. All right. Pretty sure this is the Nevada clinic, but I'm gonna go here see if I can buy any of these subdermal upgrades. Where's Utsunagi? There are so many refugees to care for. Hey Utsunagi, I got some stuff I need to buy. You're back. Actually, I do need medical attention. Suffering It'll from radiation easy. poisoning. All right. This will only take a. F All right. I want to buy an implant. Which surgery option? Mm. <laughs> it's by strength. I can implant the hypertrophy. Sure. Have a seat in the auto dock. This will take a few hours. All righty. We're gonna get some increased strength. I'm gonna buy a subdermal implant for something I don't know. Try to get armor or regeneration. You're back. Do if you they're both cheap enough, I'll get both of them. All right. Let me do a quick test my body can to make sure like, your body can handle another one. Five implant. total implants, because right. it's an implant per uh, another one. Which surgery are you doing? The endurance that you have. I'm interested in a subdermal regeneration. Let's do regeneration. Uh, subdermal. Subdermal. That would be the Nemian subdermal armor. It's a bit pricey, 8,000 caps. But the implant causes your skin cells to be bolstered with iron. Oh, that's cool. It won't make you bulletproof, but it will make you a little harder to injure. I like that. Have a seat in the I get injured pretty easily. I this get my ass take a few hammered hours. recently. And I want that regeneration, you know what I'm saying? I'm gonna save up on some food. Walking around just heals me. Sanagi, can I loot my caps back from you? You're back. Can I buy another implant? All right, all right. You're healthy enough to handle another one. Which surgery are you considering? I'm guessing I'm reaching my limits on uh, implants, so I want regeneration. That's the Phoenix Monocyte Breeder. The implant speeds up cell regeneration. I got like 10k caps that left. Of some lizards and sea creatures. The implant is very expensive, however. 12,000 caps. 
Yeah, I can afford it. Have a seat in the auto dock. This I can't. Take a few hours. Matt, got that much money in the bank. <laughs> All right, now I have like like one k gold, two k gold actually. So we are uh, good. Hey. I got uh, everything I need. I got the amount of strength I need. I have six strength. I have some perks too. Breeder. Slowly regenerate lost hit points. I got the, uh, with the sub durable armor. My threshold is increased by a four. That's actually pretty freaking cool. I've forgotten to buy water. I know. Comes caravans out of water. I bought them out. I need water. You're back. Actually, hardcore mode isn't really a hard. It's just. Got no water. Um, I sold some shit to you, too. It's just kind of. How'd you say? What the hell did I hit with the. Laser rifle. Um, had to be new or ED. I don't know. Well, no, we're talking about hardcore mode. Not hard. It's just kind of adds more things to the story that can like affect your stats. Like me having radiation damage and other stuff of flint, uh, other afflictions. I can drop my health. I can drop how much weight I can carry. That can cause like minor problems. Like one second I'm able to carry the weight I'm walking with. Next second, boom, I can't walk anymore. I'll just start limp walking. Where's the road at? Oh, it's over here. Those look like looters. You guys better not be looters. That's all I'm saying. You guys better be some nice people. Hello? Rim has a new sheriff. That should keep the powder gangers. Away. Howdy. They're chem addicts. Surprised they're not trying to attack me. That shack has a thing on it. Our guy's standing near the the Nelson base. Field shack. Is that a guy? Cause he sure does act like he doesn't care about anything here. Oh wow, an actual BB gun. The rarest BB gun in the game. Three damage. Let me quick. Oh, wow. I just killed a chem addict. I get this one. Get crusty hands. <laughs> it actually works. All right, I'm not gonna do that. That is funny. I can actually do that. Uh, hold on to the brotherhood armor Ooh, for that's me. Something good for me? Is it a dress? It's all the same thing. I'm gonna use it to repair the armor I'm gonna make later there, once pal. we're finished with this. So I'm trying to slow down, or you'll keep get all the armor. Up like the rest of the idiots who thought they'd scavenge in Boomer territory. Now that I've got your attention, might you be interested in a little information? It'll cost you, but it's well worth the investment. Uh, you can just tell me for free. You can tell me, or you can tell the underside of my boot. Whoa, simmer down. I'll tell you. I'm a gambler and a scavenger. 
I've made some cash from gambling and some cash from reclaiming goods that are no longer being used. All right, you're a scammer. Now, do you want my help or not? Uh. Thanks for the warning. What's going on on those signs? Oh, lordy, lordy. You haven't heard of the boomers? Not necessarily, what no. What have you been living under? They're a bunch of artillery slinging, grenade lobbing odd jobs camping out in Nellis. Wander into their territory and you're as good as mincemeat. Is there a way to get past? There is a way, and I'll tell you. For a little wager. All right, let's hear it. Well, I know the secret to get past. If you give me the caps, I'll tell you. If you make it back alive, I'll double your money. All right, uh... You had your caps? Nah, I got better things to spend my caps on. Suit yourself. Come back and see me when you get tired of picking shrapnel out of your backside. Dang it, bro. Welcome back. Have you re... Uh, sure. All right. Okay, here you go. That page has the details, but it's all in the timing as you move from building to building. I'll be here watching, so I'll know if you've made it to the gate or not. Remember, there's 600 caps in it if you make it. I wonder if I can use speech to change it to, like, 1,200 caps. Um... Where is it? Oh, yeah, I got it. So let's see if I can do the sunset bottle stuff later, since I got 30 caps now. Uh... Alright, the key to avoiding the artillery is to move from building to building up the northwest side of town towards the front gate. Stick the high cover in the northeast corner of the two buildings. Then make a beeline. I know what a beeline is, to be honest. For the gate, the boomers won't shoot their own people, so stick to the fence until you make it to the gate. Also, I know there's an old train road that enters in from the area from the south but no one's ever able to come back out there say it's safe up uh, all right let's try the let's try running straight there okay make a hard save I'm gonna try two things. Running directly there. Uh, hopefully my thirst isn't... Or just my endurance. That's fine. Oh, I'm scared. Uh, I'm dead. Alright. I already knew that was gonna happen. Okay, west. Then east, I get in between two buildings. Let's go. That hurts. I'm sorry. Fuck off. Eh, I tried it. This won't work. I need. What if a stealth boy worked? Would a stealth boy work? I'm going northwest. I'm scared. Damn it! Almost made it. <laughs> Alright, uh, let's look at this thing one more time.
I gotta make a beeline. Gotta go northwest. I mean, I get hit regardless. Yeah, I get hit regardless, so. That's life. I'm gonna look for the. The gate. I mean, if I was playing this on a uh, normal mode, this would be kind of easy. I'm trying to look for the. A easy path now. Because I can't wear her armor. Hear that? Uh, I don't know about that. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, please. Please, it's not gonna work. Jesus. I have a stealth boy. I'm gonna see if that works. <laughs> I don't. All right. Um. Let's take some radix. Some medics. Do I have anything that boosts up my agility? All oh, right, we're using buff out just so I can try to tank some hits and drink some water so I can, uh, you know, I can get there fast. Fuck. 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 All right, we made it. <laughs> Go put on some armor and run. <laughs> Jesus. That Medex is God tier. Uh, condition. My leg just broke, that's fine. It towards the gate, thank Hold it right there. Bully. Dang. Move. How the hell did you survive that bombardment? I ran. I ran. Who's in charge here? I'm not telling you a thing, Savage. Move a muscle now and I'll blow you to pieces. Do you really think I'm scared of a punk like you? Watch your mouth, Savage. Raquel will be here any second. I'll take this from here. I'm Raquel, Master at Arms for the Nellis Homeland. Mother Pearl, our eldest, wishes to speak to you. I'm gonna pause here and be right back. I don't know if she's just gonna drag me off or we're gonna talk directly to her. But I'll pause just because we're getting close to that time limit. I'll catch you guys in the next part. Marky Mark, out!